All right, bud. Welcome to Southwest at Hopkins. You got your stuff? You need us to. Yeah, I've got my stuff. You got your job? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And uh, I will talk to you. Yeah, we'll see you soon. I'm sure. Next year. Or, uh, early next year. We'll figure something out. Oh, yeah, we'll make it work. Good afternoon, 2.17 p.m. Uh, we've got a gorgeous day here. It's 88 degrees and partly cloudy. And uh, I've got a green light, so it's go time. But as you saw this morning, we uh, dropped cold off at the airport. And that was an awesome nine days. And let me just take a second. The last three weeks have been so hectically busy and awesome. I mean, I drove across the country with my best friend to move my dad to San Diego. I got to spend two and a half weeks in San Diego. Then I flew back here, had a day to catch up. Then brought my friend in from, or he came in from Maryland. You know, Paul was, have you watched the vlogs? He was here for 10, nine days. Um, and that was awesome. And now it's July 12th. It's July 12th. Look what they're doing here. Talking the whole program over. But it's July 12th. And uh, I'm headed to the pool, meet my grandfather. Kenneth's playing his guitar today or something this afternoon, I don't know. Um, so yeah, awesome, 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 amazing, busy three weeks. And now we're gonna dig into summer, really enjoy this uh, next six weeks before we gotta go to Kent and uh, make the best of it. So welcome boys, welcome back to summer. Wow, well, looks like somebody uh, left some rubber here. Holy shit. Good after eve morning. After morning. Yeah, more. it's 1.24 in the morning. And uh, the last clip I filmed, I just checked, was on the way back to my grandparents' house from the pool. Then I went to the bank, and then I went to their house, and we had dinner, which consisted of excellent pizza. And then I came back here and put another coat of wax on the car. Here's the kit my dad gave me. It's uh, Zeno Bros, you know, nothing but the best. And it came with, uh, I'm, I'm kind of going to go through it because I think I've got some time left for the vlog and maybe some of you guys care. We got this thing. This is the Zeno FX um, three mixing two, actually four mixing tubes and that uh, little bit of substance. And then we got Z5, which is the world's best car polish. We also got Z2 which is uh, show car polish, so those things are different. And then there is this, which is uh, just wash, you know, soap instead of using zip wash or something like that. And in the bottom is the clay bar, which I've already used, and I already applied a coat of that, and I did use that when I wax washed it. Um, and then there's three applicator pads, there's one, and then there's this. This isn't this is full of water right now. There's another one with the actual stuff in it inside. Z6, this is what you use in between car washes just to get dust and bird shit and stuff off the car. Uh, and this stuff really, it's, it's a gloss enhancer too, so it's really nice after you put it on. But they want you to put this stuff on first, which is Z2. That's kind of your base coat. And then you put this on top of it. So that's kind of a wax. And then this is more of a polish. Um, they complement each other. So I put two... Uh, what is this, two uh, ounces of that, these are two ounce bottles, and ten drops of that. Shake it up for like five minutes, and then you've got something that is really strong, that lasts, and really puts one hell of a shine on it. And that's what I did this evening. It took like another three hours, but you know me, it's only time. And uh, it's, it's gorgeous, as usual, I wish you guys could feel it. <laughs> uh, or see it in the sun, but you can probably see me in it. Maybe if the lighting's right. It's absolutely ridiculous how shiny this is right now. When I was at Dave Walter yesterday and they had that new M6 in there with probably less than 30 miles on it, probably less than 20 miles on it, um, this still felt better and the paint depth, of course they use more metallic in the paint than they did in now than they did in 2000, but I gotta say mine felt better, but of course that's been sitting out in sun probably and it's getting collected dust and stuff. But um, I'm really happy with the Zeno on the exterior now. I'm going to order the Grand Finale spray, which smells heavenly. And you put that on, and it's just the ultimate Grand Finale for shine. It's more of a temporary thing after you wash it. If you're going out for the weekend, you put that on. It's just a squirt, squirt spray, you know, and then go over it with a, uh, with a uh, cotton towel. But I'm going to order that, and I'm also going to order the stuff for the interior. There's Z8 and Z9. Z, obviously, standing for Zeno, that you put on the leather, and it's locked right now. But... Actually, I do have the keys. 
In here, there is a leather softener that you spray on your seats, and then you go around and you put on a uh, protector sealant thing. It smells really good, it's really soft, um, and it just protects the leather. And I've put Meguiar's, which is good stuff, I've put Meguiar's on these uh, seats before and it smells good and they get really soft for a while. It doesn't last a long time though. I mean, it feels really good and it's in great shape for a car with 163,421 miles on it. But, oh, listen to that. You don't get that from a car made in the US. So I'll order those things later and we'll get that going next week. Um, but as you can see, it's backed way up right now because I was sitting, sitting up here detailing the, the front and uh, I don't know, I could talk about this all day, it's about perfect, it's as close to perfect as I can get it. I mean, there's, of course, little stuff that you will never see on camera unless I try to show you, but there's a couple dings in the door. Um, actually, I don't even see it right now, maybe it's the other side, but how do you have a car for 13 years and not inevitably find some jackass that you park next to and you get a little ding in the door? If you guys see it, point it out to me, because I'm not seeing it right now, but it exists. Trust me, it exists. And then of course, there's the rust issue back here in the trunk lid that's always been there ever since I've had the car. And I've noticed this in the last couple months, I've gotten um, right here, there's some little bubbles there. So I'm probably gonna have to have that sanded down and painted again, because if I leave it, it'll probably be okay for a while, but I would rather fix it now than uh, have it get worse and deal with it later. And I may end up doing that with the trunk lid. I don't know how bad that's going to be. Um, I mean, it, it feels solid, but it, it can't be, right? It's rust. It needs to be dealt with. Damn Ohio cars. But underneath, this thing's in pretty good shape. I'm sure you can see everything down there. Um, I mean, there's a little bit of rust on some bolts and stuff, but nothing uh, that I think needs attention. And I actually didn't clean the wheels today. I need to do that tomorrow. That's all from the highway miles and stuff. Going up to take Colt home this morning. Um, yeah, so that's the car stuff. More will be coming soon. Oh, my glove box, there's an issue with that. I noticed there's a strut in there. When you pull the handle on the glove box and it comes down, there's a strut, which is kind of just like a cylinder that lets it down smoothly, and that is broken. So it, if I drop it, it'll, you know, it'll fall all the way down, and that is not good. So um, it's back there, and I actually have a light here. You can see there's part of it laying there, and the rest of it, is right there. So putting it on there doesn't seem like it's going to be any problem because I can kind of reach it from the side. But up there, it disappears into the car. So I'm going to have to figure out that Phillips screw probably comes out. I talked to the tech yesterday at Dave Walter and he said it's pretty simple. So I'm going to order the parts, only 10 bucks from eBay, 20 from Dave Walter. So I'll see if I can grab it on eBay and I don't know what shipping is, but uh, we'll do that and we'll get that fixed. So then my glove box, oh, listen, that, that even sounds good. So we'll get that done. And uh, the display is on its way, and that's not on its way, but I'm thinking of getting it on, it, on its way sometime. Get that um, new 16 to 9 navigation display in there, as well as the, uh, the stuff in the trunk. The MK4, I think, navigation computer, which will go right there. And we also secured the ballasts for my tail lights. The LEDs use a lot less power than the halogens. So we use double-sided Velcro, and uh, we got these nice and secure now, so they're not going to rattle around and stuff. And this one over here, we just put on the the floor of the car in here, and that is not rust. It looks like it, but it's it's dust. See, that's just dust that I need to vacuum out of here. And I carry jumper cables around, not so much for me, but you know the focus is around sometimes. So that's what the new lights look like in the back. All of those bulbs are really easily replaced. There's only one wire that goes down in there, and then there's all the rest of the wires for the car and stuff. So we'll work on that. Always a work in progress. Maybe you can see some of the metallic finish in the paint if I do that. Maybe not. And uh, that's still on there, and that's been replaced, and that's been replaced, and that's beautiful. There's my rear suspension stuff, and it's really dirty under here. I, I, I don't clean it because it's the underside of a car. Um, but you can see my new tires looking friggin' meaty as hell. So the that's good news. And I actually painted these uh, mufflers with some black, matte black paint about a year and a half ago, and they've gotten dirty and such. So I may try to paint them again. And the only reason I do is because when you're from a distance back behind the car and you look down there, you can kind of see them. Not with this little dinky 
LED light, but you can see it and when the paint gets off, it, it just looks cheap, so I'm gonna fix that. Data Zoo, here's something for you. I tried a little bit of the Zeno on the Honda today. Look at that metallic finish. That is gorgeous. So I'm thinking, I'm not gonna use Zeno on it, but it needs a coat of wax and it needs a wash. Um, but they're driving down to Cincinnati Saturday, so that's gonna be a lot of miles and dirt and crap, so I'm not gonna do it then. And these tires are fairly new, and look at them. How are they brown and disgusting already? I already put tire shine on them like a few weeks ago, so that needs to be done again. Remember how I told you uh, that Moto Motion lost one of my valve stems when they redid this wheel? Well, I bought new ones for like 20 bucks, I know, rip off, but now I've got the right valve stems back on there. And, uh, and that's good, and you can see this side doesn't have any of those little, uh, uh, I guess it would be rust dimples coming through on the fender here. I actually had one around here somewhere. And when I had that front body work done last July, I just had them uh, sand that down, and I think they welded something up in there. Maybe it's pretty thick metal, as you can see, and it's in decent shape. It looks really dusty on camera, but in person, it's just the texture in the metal. And there's my new struts and shocks and stuff, so, or struts and uh, springs. Um, so I'll work with that other side. And then, as uh, Andrew pointed out, I, I'm talking about the car so much because I just spent like two hours editing videos from Andrew's 2005 for the E39 Source channel. Um, he had been pointing out the rust that's common in these cars right here on that seam because water gets in there and it collects and it, it's at an angle, it's a poor design. And uh, I have a little bit of, can you even see it? Little, little bumps, little ripples. But for the age of the car, it's not nearly as bad I've seen as I've seen online, so. That's nice and clean. There's some of the metallic finish. You can see the biggest thing I noticed with the wax, of course, uh, aside from being really smooth, is it pulled the metallic finish out of the paint more. It's not a finish, it's just the, the paint that, you know, most cars have it now. Back in 2000, that was something to put on the window sticker, how it was a metallic finish or paint. And this is called Silverstone Metallic, so it's the, people call it gray, but it's way more light blue than gray, I think. And then there's the Honda, which is, I don't know what they call the color, but it's a really nice blue. It reminds me of the uh, 2003 530IM we had. It was very similar to this color and finish. So today's been productive. I got a bunch of stuff done with the car. I was going to mow one of the yards today. Never had time. Wanted to hit the pool, so that was cool. And I had dinner and stuff. So that's going to be it for today's vlog, I think, right now anyways. Just cleaning stuff up, organizing, and uh, feels like it's been a productive day. I've gotten a lot of stuff done. I got the Wash Lighter playlist down to 35, I think. Or no, maybe in the 20s now, which is good, because I had it up at like 50, and that's not good. You know me, I like to keep that sub 10, so I'll work on that more tonight. But with these 30-minute Shaytards vlogs, holy crap, it'll take me a whole day to catch up on just those, and there's like 10 of them. All right, that's it. Enough garage time with Jay Schultz. Talk to you tomorrow. Good night.